Hey everybody, Varun here from Language Academy and I've got Praveen with me today. Eight each in his PT exam. Very well done Praveen. Congratulations. Um, from day one, I knew that you were going to do it, but you were lenient, right? Yeah. You were not that serious. Yeah. You used to come to the lab smiling, seeing if you want to study or not. Um, you used yeah. to be very casual, yeah. right? You were the same throughout, but you've got a perfect 19 speaking, yeah. right? Very, um, very, very free. You never stressed about anything. That's yeah. a very good thing. Very relaxed. I would like to ask you, what do you think is important for speaking? Speaking is one section. Few students out there struggle despite the fact they are doing everything perfect. Yeah. What was your secret behind a perfect 19 speaking? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you and especially Priyanka ma'am and all the LA team. Uh, they have done a superb job and they are doing a superb job actually. And in speaking section, I would like to tell that you just need to follow the templates mm -hmm. and the strategies they give. And I just had practiced, I mean, a little bit. And uh, as I told that I was not serious. And so you were, I won't say you were not serious. You were yeah. serious, but you were not stressed. Yeah. A lot of students, what they do is they come and study here and they're not in that state of mind that they feel relaxed and they're able to concentrate. What was the case with you is you were not too much worried about the outcomes, yeah. but you were giving your best when it comes to studying. You were yeah. studying seriously, but yes, you were not tense that if I not get this score, what will happen? You were not worried about yeah. the results. So that is one thing I believe personally is that it helps you to concentrate better. Yeah. If you don't worry about the outcome and you go and sit for the exam, you are able to perform better. And yeah. it's more of your performance test rather than your language test, yeah. right? What do you think is important for reading? Uh, reading, you just need to follow the grammars and the strategies. Mm. I mean, just say in the fill in the blank section, you just need to follow up the grammars and see uh, there's going to be the plural or the singular mm. or it's going to be the noun uh, because you have to see the word before and after. Yeah, word before and after, mm. after the blank. And in the reorder, you just need to follow the strategies. Mm. That's that's really easy. So that's, that's not that easy, I guess. <laughs> but yes, if you follow the strategies, you practice properly, you can get your score like he has got. Very important when it comes to reading blanks, you look for the word before and after the blank. That will give you a very good idea yeah. of what can be the blank, what form of verb can be there in the blank, or if it's a noun, will it be singular or um, plural word over there? It will give you a good idea. Um, Praveen, Listening was one thing, especially summarized spoken text, you were never worried about. Yeah. Right? You never even practiced that much. Yeah. Why was that? Uh, because in the listening uh, summarized spoken text, you have the template, uh, template already. Mm. And you just need to take some keywords and put in there. Mm. And I was just worried about my spelling section because I'm really bad in spelling. Mm. So I just uh, used to put that spelling uh, in which I was really confident. Mm. Uh, and... That's it from Sunrise Spoken Text. So, um, when you say that you used to only put in spellings you were confident, what do you mean? What can we take out of from it? Uh, just like the, the, there are many complicated spellings mm. in which, because spellings matters a lot, mm. and even a small mistake can make a big impact in yes. your score. Yes. And so, you just need to be worried about, and you just need to care about your spellings. I mean, just put the simple words mm. instead of putting the complex words mm. so uh, if, you, if you're not really sure it's better not to write it rather yeah. than writing the wrong thing yeah. very important all of you need to make sure that if you're going for the exam if there's any word you're not sure about the spellings do not write the word because if you write incorrect spellings you yeah. lose points in spellings you lose points in content as well but if you don't write the word you will not lose anything in your spellings and there are very high chances you don't lose anything in your content part as well Try to cover as many keywords, but do not write anything you're not sure about and you're going to get your score. Praveen, any final piece of advice for students out there preparing for the exam with stress? How to be calm and relaxed on the exam day? Uh, on the exam day, actually, uh, just don't study too much on the exam day because it can make you stress. Mm. Uh, whatever you have studied is enough. Mm -hmm. And on the exam day, that's what it. what else do you think? Um, when you say don't study too much, yeah. what do we need to cover on the exam day? What do we, what should we have a look at before going for the exam? Uh, because uh, in my case, I just have look at uh, I just have look at the right from dictation mm. because uh, from the sources you can see there are always the people who mentioned who has given the exam. They always mention that 
uh, this one uh, was in their exam mm. so i always look for the new questions mm. that's it uh, that's uh, that's what i saw uh, in the so exam. basically skim the most important class right yeah. so basically on your exam day don't worry too much about studying each and everything cover your answer short questions your write from dictations your repeat sentences and cover your essay keywords and summarize spoken text keywords that will give you a clear idea yeah. of what are things you need to be worried worried about what are the spellings you need to take care of and what are the important keywords if you do so you are going to get your score like he has got like i have got you can do it as well just one thing which i learned from this journey very calm composed and relaxed no, never ever worried about the results but yes at the same time um you look to be um, you know person who is not worried but i know you have put in that effort yeah right let's be yes, let's be very practical it's not like you woke up and yeah. got the score right yes he one thing which all of you need to be you know very very conscious and careful about don't stress too much about the results if you'll do so you will hinder your performance it will hinder your performance just go out give your best and see where you stand improve on the same and get your score as soon as possible that's it from this video guys varun from language academy make sure you keep on practicing stay safe and make sure you have the proper guidance thank you guys